Well, I knew it would only be a matter of time before I made the leap and installed Sim Update 10 Beta. I went ahead, joined the beta program, and maybe now you guys won't have to and not take the chances. So I installed the beta, downloaded it. It was about 12 and a half gig to download, not too large. One of the steps I always, always take when there's an update is I completely empty my community folder because you never know which are gonna work or not and everyone, everything in that folder gets loaded when the sim loads and if there's conflicts, it makes no sense. So I, I empty out the community folder and that is my first step. Now, it's probably gonna be a little choppy, a little bumpy and that's really because of the screen, uh, the frame rate and the um, recording. So we got a couple new features, the anti-aliasing now has NVIDIA DLSS. When you enable that, it gives you the NVIDIA DLSS submenu where you can pick from performance, balance, quality, or super performance, I think it's called, or ultra performance. There are drastic differences. It's going to take a whole slew of tuning now in all the other different areas. Uh, I had heard that it doesn't function with the Open NIS Scaler 2. Hey, look, there's my, uh, you know, there's my um, observatory up there, my first observatory. Also, you know, see what it looks like. Uh, someone had said that, but I actually am using it, not, not here. Right now I have the frame rate on, but I have the override the in headset resolution turned off and the post processing turned off and the rendering turned off so I'm only using it for the frame rate uh, yeah, it looks pretty good everything looks good I think everything looks better everything flows better I can get definitely get better frame rates when you put pick the ultra performance the high performance option your frame rates are very, very good, but there is a big, big drop. Um, now, I don't know if you can see it. I can. The clouds, the sky, all to me look much better. There's a little bit of a washout when you look down. I don't know if that's just the reflection. Um, yeah, we're in Tokyo, uh, to I'm sorry, Hong Kong here, and we got the. Wait, is this Hong Kong or am I in Tokyo? No, I think this is Tokyo. I'm sorry. This is uh, Tokyo, right? Yeah. Um, the, the frame rates in the cities are nowhere as near as good as in the mountains, but even at the slower frame rates, to me it seems to still be very smooth. Can you tell the difference between 31 frames per second and 40 frames per second? Yeah, maybe sometimes you can. I think as long as it's going smooth, it's all right. But that's, again, right down in the buildings running right between them. Uh, but with some tweaking, I was actually able to get that up to over 40. So again, uh, we're now we're at uh, Tel Telluride, I think it's, it is Telluride. I know if I say it wrong, I'll get corrected by my brother. <laughs> but another location that usually has some decent frame rates and good visual quality to the scenery around it as well. It's a uh, high altitude, so it takes quite a bit to get your plane going here. So I should have grabbed the turbo, but that's all right. Yeah, so, so sim update, I haven't had any crashes. Now, I have had a couple of times where the frame rates dropped drastically, like to 16, 18%, and did not recover back up to like this 37 percent and and i think right now i have quality and i've been playing with the the nvidia setting the first few flights i didn't change any of my settings i did not go into the nvidia control panel and change anything i didn't change anything on the steam vr um i i i do sure wish it didn't jump with the recording but i think there's a new quest recording coming out uh, uh a new option in the headset the the updated 
version of the OS for the Quest 2 headset. I think the next update adds some new recording capabilities. Uh, oh, Hoover Dam here. Um, yeah, so I think it's going to be a great update once it's finalized. It's still in beta, so I, I wouldn't recommend you download it unless you want to take the chances with beta. And the chances you take are having to just blow everything away and redo everything again. I don't really mind doing that. It doesn't bother me if I have to reinstall it. Then I just walk away and do something else while it's doing it. Um, but yeah, I, I think with that, that NVIDIA DLSS, yeah, see, we're getting 41 frames per second here. I have the open NIS scaler enabled right now, as you saw in that. Um, so I'm not sure why. Maybe it's certain headsets, but with the Quest so far, it's been working very good, and it definitely helps to have the capability to override the resolution in the headset and to make some changes. Uh, colors are, I think, better. Clouds are better. So I, I think, yeah, I haven't had any crashes. I haven't had any issues with crashes to the desktop yet. I have probably flown eight flights, maybe. Uh, I've flown in the Beechcraft Twin, the Boeing 247 Delta, the uh, Piper 3. The, this one here, the Mooney. Uh, so I've flown a few different airplanes, a few different areas, and I'll keep flying them and I'll let you know if anything crazy is really bad or really good. But hey, Sim Update 10 Beta. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the skies.